Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Justin Brapp, the Unboxing Authority YouTube channel. Today I want to talk a little bit about the AMD Ryzen Threadripper 3990X processor. This thing, I didn't think AMD would be able to make this and make it work right, but they can for a couple different reasons and it's pretty awesome. So the first thing you want to know about this, of course, is 64 threads. What you'll see is that the core layout is a little interesting. So normally you would have four chiplets here, but because it's 64 cores, you have eight. Now, the reason that this works is because what they're doing with this is most of the software out there is not parallel computing software, proprietary software, Windows software, not parallel computing software. And so when people are using Adobe Premiere and different things on these CPUs, they're usually only utilizing like four CPU threads instead of like 64 or 128 threads, right? Because that's how many threads this thing has. The issue is, is that they're not utilizing all those threads at the same time. And therefore it's actually running cooler because their threads are all spread out. The cores are all spread out. That's unfortunate, but it's also good for as far as like cooling and not using a lot of heat. So the only time people in a lot of videos are actually utilizing this CPU is when they're doing benchmarks. However, with my uh, software that I use in Linux, it's not my software, it's free open source software um, that I use for video rendering, KDN Live, I can set as many threads apparently in the program as are available in the system. Now with the old versions of KDN Live, I could specify as many threads as I wanted to regardless of the CPU I had in the machine. But now it seems they've done the smart thing and they've limited that number to the real number of threads that you have or cores, that is an actual, a good thing because it should help avoid any kind of glitches in the software. The only reason I noticed this is because I have an eight thread CPU and when I go into KDN Live, it only shows me eight and it used to be I could type in any number I wanted. So I believe that's an update, um, but it is parallel computing software and it does work. So AMD of course is making a big deal out of this because it is the most powerful consumer CPU on the market. It runs at a fairly fast speed for having 64 cores. The max boost is up to 4.3 uh, gigahertz there. Its cache is very large. It's 256 megabytes of L3 cache. It is STRX4 socket. Um, it is going to work on newer motherboards that are made specifically for it. It has 128 threads. Now it does seem, it seems, although I don't know yet, that these new motherboards are made to actually supply enough power to the CPU without burning up. So that's a very good improvement. Now I do believe that this has the seven nanometer technology, which is going to help it run cooler, more efficiently. It uses 280 Watts, which um, is a lot for today's standards. But uh, in terms of where CPUs were at, you know, long ago, like in 2012, this is actually really good. System memory specification 3200 megahertz, which is important, and I think people are actually trying to clock it higher than that um, and are succeeding. But you know, you know me, I, I don't like to push things to where they're going to blow up. So, because I, I use stuff for work, not for, you know, showing off on YouTube. But I mean, obviously, I could show off with the stuff on YouTube once or twice, but I, I really don't want to stress the stuff out to where it's going to cause uh, things not to run you know, in a long term. All this great stuff, and you can get yours now for $3,989.99 plus taxes. And that seems like a lot, and it is. Um, but when you compare this to, like for example, the AMD Epic, there are some possible savings involved here. For me to get an AMD Epic system that matches this, I'd have to spend about $7,000, including the motherboard and the RAM and stuff. With this one, I think the price would come down a little bit. So the main advantage of getting this over the AMD Epic is that you are going to get higher uh, gigahertz on your single core performance, which is important to a lot of people. Me, yes and no. I mean, because I do a lot of parallel computing with my video rendering, I do not, um, it's only when I'm editing the video that I'm running in single core performance in preview mode, and that can be delegated over to a GPU that can run on as many threads as it wants to. Here it is over here, $3,989 on Newegg. Okay, here's the main um, picture of it here. They also have the other ones, you know, with less threads and cores on them. I think there's a 32 and a 24, 
So we'll look here. This is uh, the 3970, which is running at 3.7 gigahertz with 32 cores. And then they have a 24 core version that runs at 3.8 gigahertz, so slightly uh, faster. Whereas the 3990X, it runs at 2.9 gigahertz with a mass a max boost frequency of 4.3 gigahertz, which is pretty decent. Now, you got to keep this thing cool, right? Not only do you have to supply it with power if you're going to actually utilize the whole thing, but you also need to keep it cool. And so there are some solutions for this. Now, obviously, there are liquid cooling solutions that are out there. And there are, you know, people that want to use a computer on a regular basis and they don't have to change the fluid or have leaks or any of those kinds of problems usually stick with heat sinks. Even Jay's Two Cents recently on YouTube said that in his rig he's going to use on a day-to-day -day basis, he is using a heat sink. Now, the Ice Giant uh, seems to be the best option if you're going to try to use a heat sink with the third gen Ryzen, okay? Because so far in every test with these, um, if you have good, you know, temperature in your room where you're using this, then this is going to be able to dissipate uh, a lot of heat that is the same or better than liquid cooling. However, with heat sinks, there's something very important you need to know regardless of how their technology is. And that is that when you have a 90 degree Fahrenheit room temperature like I have sometimes in the summer, this may not work. Okay. Uh, whereas a liquid cooling system might actually work, especially if you have a way of chilling. If you have a chiller to run the water or the fluid through to cool it down, um, you know, a chiller is basically an air conditioner that only cools down the liquid in your CPU. That's all it does in your, in your, your computer. That's definitely going to be a, a benefit here. Now, if you went with the AMD um, Epic CPU, like I want to do, then cooling isn't this issue. Now, the other thing is this thing probably won't fit on an AMD Epic CPU, just so you know, um, because this is specifically um, designed to go on the AMD Ryzen and other uh, consumer CPUs. And the consumer CPUs have a completely different orientation, a uh, 90 degree different orientation in the motherboard than the AMD Epics. And so with the Epics, uh, you could easily go with one of these deep cool Gamer Storm uh, Fryzen TR4 coolers and it would probably work just fine because the uh, the Epics don't put off a lot of heat. They run much um, cooler and more power efficient with, with a little bit less uh, clock speed. You know, and you can technically put two 64 core, 120, or sorry, 256 thread uh, total CPUs in your PC. So with both of them, you would have 256 threads. And if you have a truly parallel computing program and architecture like I do with Linux here, then you should be able to utilize um, all of that on the Epic. Now, obviously, though, as I showed in one of my other videos, you're looking at a huge price difference between those because you have a $3,000 video editing PC versus a $30,000 video editing PC on the low and the high end. And I think that for editing and rendering videos with an AMD uh, Threadripper, you know, going somewhere in the middle is probably a good idea because I would want, I would never want to, I mean, spending $3,000 on a computer seems ridiculous enough already. I wouldn't even want to consider going over uh, $7,000 on that unless someone gave me millions of dollars, thousands and thousands of dollars, you know, for my channel. And I had a, you know, God just supplied all my needs and I wanted to build this epic machine for you guys and for my channel and everything. Somebody paid for it, uh, a sponsor, you know, it, it's kind of hard for me to justify spending that much money, especially when I could buy a truck or something else that I need, you know, that's very important. It is very important for me to have a video editing machine because this is my primary source of income is from editing and uh, publishing videos on YouTube and Libre and the different platforms that I use. So uh, to me, this is a tool. It's something that I need to keep making income. And if I use the Ryzen Threadripper 3990X 64 core processor, the only way I think I could probably keep this thing running cool enough would be to use half of the cores on it to tell my video editing software to use 64 threads or 32 cores of the CPU 
And then that way I would probably get the same results that the other people are using that don't have truly, you know, parallel computing software like I do because they're only using like four threads of this 128 thread CPU, which is a sad thing. Now my viewers really, really want to see me build, you know, a 256 thread uh, video editing machine. They really want to see it and they want it demonstrated in Linux. AMD Ryzen Threadripper third generation is very cool. I never saw it coming as far as the 64 core version. I figured it would be too hot and demand too much power. But again, because the proprietary software just isn't there yet as far as utilizing the whole thing uh, for video editing, rendering, um, and my the open source software I use is, most of the people using this are not going to overtax it. They're not going to have it too hot. And as long as they've got one of these guys, one of these Ice Giant Pro Siphon Elites on it, which um, you have to pre-order right now and you got to pay 20 bucks to get in line to get one, and then they charge you when they send it to you. But the thing is, is that the, I got to show you something really quick here with the prototype. So this is the uh, Ice Giant prototype, which you're seeing in the videos on YouTube right now. And it is very thick, okay? It's wide and it's very thick. And something tells me, although I could be wrong, something tells me this prototype actually works better than the 2020 Pro Siphon Elite. However, it, it's very heavy and that's not good for your motherboard necessarily or the socket or anything. So the Pro Siphon Elite is probably going to do a much better job in terms of not weighing down your computer. You can put the fans on it just like you would probably a radiator for a liquid cooling system. And it does have technically a liquid inside it. Uh, there is, is a um, dielectric fluid apparently or grease or whatever that is moving around inside this machine. So other than it not really having a pump per se, it is still technically a liquid cooled solution without the hassles of liquid cooling. So does that mean that whatever they're using inside the thing is going to break down over time? I don't know. But unless they change that mount on the bottom uh, 90 degrees to its orientation, what it is now, I wouldn't be able to put it on an AMD Epic PC unless I took the motherboard out of the case. If I took the motherboard out of the case or cut holes in the case or did some kind of craziness, I might be able to install this um, in a machine, but it might be sticking out the top of the computer. Uh, so that's, you know, there's some challenges there, but I tell you what, if you send me enough money on my Patreon or wherever, or Bitcoin or however you want to help me out, you know, maybe you're sending me LBC on uh, Libre. Uh, you send me some, some LBC on that that I can convert into Bitcoin and, uh, you know, maybe I can afford to do all kinds of crazy stuff. I'll go to New Ager somewhere and just purchase everything. And then, you know, maybe somehow I can buy one of these. I might have to convert some Libre into cash or something. But I'll buy one of these. Because did you know uh, you can use New Egg and other sites using Bitcoin? Now, like I said, in the past, I haven't been a huge fan of Bitcoin. But if that's what I'm getting paid in, you know, there are some huge benefits to Bitcoin out there. And so with Newegg.com, you can actually use uh, Bitcoin to make purchases. There are some things that you can't purchase using Bitcoin, like uh, will call orders, uh, Newegg gift cards, marketplace items, subscription orders, pre-orders, or return shipping labels. Apparently, for everything else on Newegg, there's Bitcoin. There's lots of places all over the place that accept Bitcoin. You just have to search, and hopefully you can get them to deliver things to your house if you don't live near one. That's about everything you know on this cpu has tons of cash um, the motherboards are available for it now of course these are combos down here for four thousand eight hundred dollars and whatnot so you should uh, if you get one of these boards it's a two item combo you should be getting this cpu uh, with one of these boards and new egg is nice enough to um, you know put the combos together so that you know what boards are going to work with this CPU and I would definitely you know look at all of those look them over if you're gonna purchase one of these and decide what boards gonna work the best for you so thanks so much and God bless you do you want to learn to follow the commands of the Almighty one true God if you do go to ChristianCourts.com there's a free PDF book you can download audiobook and video where you can listen and learn God's laws Make America great again. Help establish Christian law in communities all across the world. God bless you.
Don't throw your computer into the recycle bin. Make your computer great again. Go to www.justuselinux.com. So the first thing we're gonna do is drag Windows 10 to the recycle bin. This video is brought to you today by Blazing Hog 4G LTE. Get blazing fast internet speeds up to 150 megabits per second. You get $49.99 off when you use the code and the phone number in the description of this video or the code right below my finger here, the coupon code. It works anywhere, rain or shine, within five miles of an AT&T or T-Mobile cell tower. Check it out. All you have to do is call 1-888-306-7062 and mention account number SR2808 when you call. Now enjoy the rest of this video. That's an order, son. If you live in the United States of America, then you need how to win in court because you never know when an organized criminal gang will arrest you and put you in jail because they want your wife. Maybe they want your car. They want your house. They've given you a ticket. Maybe you had to defend yourself against others. And now you're on trial for murder. Well, if you go to How to Win in Court, you've got a better chance of making it through without having any kinds of problems. It happens suddenly when they kidnap you and you're not expecting it. Are you prepared? Be prepared. It's the motto of the Boy Scouts. Come on, be prepared. How to win in court is in the description of this video and in the cards. So unless you want to go to a resort with free cable TV, free cellmate, room and board, I suggest you go to how to win in court. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Just bless you. Please click the links in the description of the video and go to christiancourts.com. Click the donate button because we need your help. Get the Blazing Hog 4G LTE internet. It's available anywhere. There's T-Mobile or AT&T signal within five miles of a cell tower or 20 miles with a repeater, okay? It's really fast, especially in rural areas or areas where there's no other people around. It's just super, super fast, okay? The other thing that you need to do is check out Straight Talk. I've got a coupon for Straight Talk and if you use that coupon, you're going to get a month free worth of bonus points when you sign up as long as you enroll for the bonus point program that they've got, the rewards. And every time that you make a purchase, you're going to get more points as well. And then I'm going to get points. So if 10 of you sign up for Straight Talk, I should get two years of free service worth of points. And you guys should get two months of free service each. It works on Sprint. It works on Verizon and it works on T-Mobile and AT&T, okay? It works on all four networks. You can bring your own phone, you can bring your existing phone, especially if they're unlocked, uh, over to Straight Talk, and you can switch between networks. All you gotta do is have either a GSM phone, a Sprint phone, or a Verizon phone, and you can switch between the networks. AT&T and T-Mobile are both GSM, so you can switch between them. I don't know if uh, Sprint is, but it's a really good deal. I pay $38 a month, for unlimited texting and calling anywhere in the United States and I also get two gigabytes of data plus unlimited slower data after that which I've never used all the data as far as I know uh, you can get bigger better plans you can get a fully unlimited plans uh, from straight talk but I only pay $38 a month I use my blazing hog for all the other internet okay and you guys should do the same you can also check out how to build a and how to win in court those are great resources as well. As well, please go to donate and help me out. I need a new computer and there's other things I need so I can keep bringing you guys videos. So thanks again and God bless you. Bye.